Hi guys, welcome to AC Technical. In this tutorial, I will show you how to resolve Bluetooth not working on Windows 10 and Windows 11. In most cases, Windows 11 Bluetooth troubles arise from software issues, but they could also be caused by a hardware malfunction. However, here I will be showing you 7 fixes that can surely help to fix Bluetooth not working on Windows 10 and Windows 11. So let's get started. First, navigate to your computer settings menu by clicking on the start button and selecting the gear icon for setting. In the settings menu, select Bluetooth and devices to access the Bluetooth settings. Toggle the switch to turn on Bluetooth. This action will activate the Bluetooth feature on your computer. Once Bluetooth is turned on, you may need to ensure that your computer's Bluetooth drivers is enabled in device manager. To access device manager, right click on the start button and select device manager from the menu. In device manager, expand the network adapters category to see your computer's Bluetooth adapter. Right click on the Bluetooth adapter. Listed under network adapters and select enabled from the context menu. This action will activate the Bluetooth adapter. After enabling the Bluetooth adapter, you should now be able to connect Bluetooth devices to your computer. If you are lucky, then this simple method may help to fix the problem. But note, if Bluetooth is not working properly on your computer, enabling it through the settings and device manager may not resolve the issue. In that case, at first restart your computer, as sometimes a simple reboot can resolve connectivity issues. If Bluetooth is still not working after a reboot, press the Windows key plus R on your keyboard to open the Run dialog box. Type services.msc into the box and press Enter. This action will open the services window. In the services window, scroll down or use the alphabetical order to find the Bluetooth support service entry. Once you locate Bluetooth support service, check its status. If it's not running, it will likely be listed as stopped. Right click on Bluetooth support service and select start from the context menu. Alternatively, you can double click on Bluetooth support service to open its properties window. Then click the start button in the properties window. If you want the Bluetooth support service to start automatically every time you boot your computer, you can set its startup type to automatic. To do this, right click on Bluetooth support service, select properties and then under the general tab, Select Automatic from the Startup Type drop-down menu. Click Apply and then OK to save your changes. After starting the Bluetooth support service, ensure that it has started successfully. You should see the status changes to running. Once you have started the Bluetooth support service, you can close the services window. Now reboot once. After rebooting, check once hopefully your problem will be solved. If not working, click on the Start button and select the gear icon to open the Settings app. Alternatively, you can press the Windows key plus I on your keyboard to open settings directly. In the settings app, click on system from the list of options. In the system settings, select the troubleshoot tab from the sidebar on the left. Scroll down the troubleshoot settings until you find the other troubleshooter section. Under this section, locate and click on the run button next to it. This action will launch the Bluetooth troubleshooter. The Bluetooth troubleshooter will scan your system for Bluetooth related issues and prompt you with instructions to resolve them. Follow the on-screen prompts to complete the troubleshooting process. Once the troubleshooter has completed its scan, it will provide you with a summary of its findings. Review the results to see if any issues were detected and whether they were resolved. Based on the troubleshooter recommendations, take any necessary actions to fix the identified Bluetooth issues. The Bluetooth troubleshooter in Windows 11 works by scanning your system for common Bluetooth problems such as driver issues, connectivity problems or configuration errors. It then provides you with guidance and instructions on how to resolve these issues, helping you restore Bluetooth functionality on your computer. After completing the troubleshooting process and implementing any recommended fixes, verify whether Bluetooth functionality has been restored on your system. Test pairing Bluetooth devices to ensure they connect properly.
If your Bluetooth adapter is malfunctioning, switch its USB port. First, disconnect it and plug it into a different port. If you are using a cable extension, consider removing it and connecting the adapter directly to the port as a temporary measure. Check for concurrent Bluetooth connection. If your PC is linked to multiple devices simultaneously or is within range of other devices attempting to connect, it may lead to complications. To troubleshoot, disable Bluetooth on any nearby phones or computers previously paired with your device. Additionally, turn off any other Bluetooth enabled devices attempting to establish a connection with your computer simultaneously. The objective is to ensure that only one computer has Bluetooth activated and only one device is attempting to pair with it. In Windows 11, you can disconnect Bluetooth devices by navigating to Settings, then Bluetooth and Devices. Click on the three-dot menu next to the desired device and select Disconnect. If not working, then right-click on the Start button and select Device Manager from the menu that appears. Alternatively, you can press the Windows key plus X on your keyboard and select Device Manager from the list. In the Device Manager window, expand the category labeled Bluetooth or Bluetooth radios. This will displace the Bluetooth adapters installed on your computer. Right-click on the Bluetooth adapter that you want to uninstall and select Uninstall Device from the context menu. After selecting Uninstall Device, you may see a checkbox level Delete the driver software for this device. If you want to completely remove the driver software, check this box before clicking Uninstall. Once the Bluetooth driver has been uninstalled, restart your computer to allow Windows to reinstall the default Bluetooth driver automatically. After restarting your computer, check to see if the Bluetooth functionality has been restored. You can do this by trying to connect Bluetooth devices or by checking the Bluetooth settings in Windows. Uninstalling and reinstalling the Bluetooth driver, it can often resolve issues related to driver corruption or conflicts that may be causing Bluetooth problems on your computer. If uninstalling and reinstalling the Bluetooth driver is not working, then right-click on the Start button and select Device Manager from the menu that appears. Alternatively, you can press the Windows key plus X on your keyboard and select Device Manager from the list. In the Device Manager window, expand the category labeled Bluetooth or Bluetooth radios. This will display the Bluetooth adapters installed on your computer. Right-click on the Bluetooth adapters that you want to update and select Update Driver from the context menu. In the Update Driver software window, select Search Automatically for updated driver software. This option allows Windows to search for and install the latest driver updates for your Bluetooth adapters from the Internet. Follow the on-screen instructions to allow Windows to search for and install the latest driver updates. If a newer driver is found, Windows will automatically download it and install it. After the driver update process is complete, restart your computer to apply the changes. Once your computer has restarted, check to see if the Bluetooth functionality has been restored. You can do this by trying to connect Bluetooth devices or by checking the Bluetooth settings in Windows. If none of the above steps resolve the issues, if possible that there's a hardware problem with your Bluetooth adapter or device. Contact your computer's manufacturer's support or the manufacturer of the Bluetooth device for the further assistance. If your computer is still under warranty, then I will suggest you to contact your manufacturer for additional support. So I hope this guide was helpful for you. If you have any question or any advanced guide, then please let us know. Please like, comment, share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.